Good morning, modern steaders. It's a little bit warmer out this morning. It's six degrees out instead of below zero. <sighs> if you stay to the end of the video, we're going out on a fun little adventure tonight. It's gonna be good. But we gotta wait until Gina gets home from work before we can do that. I forgot to show it sooner, but instead of me putting in the roosting poles, I've been letting the chickens sleep on the nesting box perches instead of closing them up. I thought if I put the roosting poles that I have over here, it would take up too much room, and then it would give them less area to run around in and play during the day. Been having a lot of people asking us about our new waterproof livestock gloves. We're gonna do our bonus video this week on a review of them. So that'll be tomorrow's video. I think Figaro's gonna be sad when we take out his Christmas tree today. You think he's gonna miss it? Yeah. He'll find, find a new spot. It just won't be a Christmas tree. Here are the goats, they want to come out. What's the matter? We got a little bit of ice in the bucket sitting overnight, not bad. Five degrees out and about a quarter inch of ice. I'll take that. Been really happy with how all the waters have been working around here. <laughs> You want some breakfast? You gotta wait a minute. You gotta wait. I know, it's terrible. Give her some of our milk made herbs to help her with her milk production. I'm hoping that her milk production goes back up. Last time she went in heat, it dropped down. As of yesterday morning, her production was still pretty low. I use not much milk in her udder. I think she's gonna be drying up pretty soon. But like I was saying, I use her milk for her, my cream and my coffee. We're not getting a lot. But it's been enough for my coffee. And pretty soon, not even gonna be able to do that. Hopefully, she's pregnant, guys. And come May, she'll have babies. And then we'll get into really good milk production. We got Willow this past spring, if you're new to the channel. And she had two babies last year. One of them was Buttercup. And I don't know what the other one's name was. Um, but she was never milked by a person. So her milk production was not extremely high from the beginning. If you want your animals to be in good milk production, you need to, once the babies are about two weeks old, you need to start hand milking them. 
and some people will actually stop milking them right from day one. We can do a lot better job at milking and making sure we get all the milk out of the udder versus babies. And this gets them, this gets their body to know, hey, we need to start producing more milk. And they just keep upping it. And if you don't do that from the beginning, that's not going to happen. And that's why Willow has never been a huge producer for us. But the milk that the Nigerian dwarf goats do produce, man, tastes so good. It's better than cow's milk. It's creamier and richer. When I put it in my coffee, I think it's better than using half and half or cream in your coffee from a dairy cow. So we really love having the dairy goats and hoping to be able to up our dairy production within the next year, maybe two. So I'm looking forward to that. Did you eat all your alfalfa pellets? These guys are probably about eight months old, so they're not old enough yet for us to breed them. So next fall, we'll breed them. And then next spring, not this coming spring, but the following spring, we'll be able to have babies from them and start milking them. I don't want to give them too much hay this morning. I'm going to be bringing out that Christmas tree shortly. What do you see? You see anything, Pluto? It's like you're standing watch over something. It's great that none of the water is a freezing all the way solid. I like that. Hopefully the chickens will come out if I feed them out here. How many eggs do we got? Look at that, four eggs already. It's funny too, because these are the two nesting boxes. It seems like they're always laying their eggs in. Go for it, Moose. Oh, right to the ramp. You can't get in there, can you, buddy? I really don't think Moose likes the snow. One thing that I've wanted to get back into, and we haven't yet, is worm composting. We were just sent up an urban worm bag to try, and then we got 4,000 worms in the mail from Uncle Jim's Worm Farm. I'm going to leave a link in the description down below to Uncle Jim's website and a promo code. If you use the promo code, you're going to get 10% off your whole order. It's not an affiliate link or anything. I was talking with them and I asked them if we could get a promo code for our modern status. And they said we'd love to do that. So all that information is going to be down below. I want to build my own worm tower. For starters, we're going to use an urban worm bag. Sounds interesting. Pluto, you want to help?
now we're going to put the pipes through here. That supports the bag. We've got to kind of build everything at the same time. Everything a good push. You want to open it up and see what it's like inside. Yes. So it's waterproof. Alright, you know, looks like it's gonna hold quite a bit of material. Looks pretty cool. Mm -hmm. You ready to see what 4,000 worms look like? We got our shredded paper that's been soaking overnight in water. I'm gonna wring it out. We're gonna use this for bedding. What's she doing? Checking it out? I don't know what you guys are up to. We're gonna put a little bit of our shredded paper in the bottom. Over here we have our worms. We've had them sitting in a bucket of goat manure. Can you see them moving? Goat and they've been getting like reacclimated from shipping. It's funny, they're actually warm. See all the worms? Yeah. You want them? No. No? That's their back alive. They got shipped in the mail, they believe. They came from Florida. That's where they get shipped out of. A worm will eat their body weight a day in compostable material. Yeah. You gonna compost your cat? No. Oh. Go in there. Now I'm gonna add our worms and goat turds. I'm gonna add in some vegetables. The nice thing about adding in vegetables and greens is it's full of water and moisture and worms need that. I'm going to add in some bread. I'm going to layer this up for them and give them a nice smogish bog. We're not going to add any more food in the compost bin right now. We're going to layer it with wet paper. Most of it? Yep. Yeah. Wet paper is going to add moisture, and the worms need about 80 to 90 percent moisture. So you have to keep an eye on it. And the goat manure is going to be pulling out the moisture. So I'll have to just keep adding a little bit of water to it a little bit at a time. And the shredded paper also adds more carbon so if you're starting to get a smell you layer your top it'll keep the smell down so every time we're going to add to it we're going to put shredded paper on top of it you can either soak it first or you can do some soaked and some dry and then just wet the top of like a spray bottle you don't want to soak them but you want to have it moist Yeah, 
I like it. It's gonna work nice in the basement. I think the goats will appreciate this. Hopefully. I need to bring the goats out some minerals. They need some seaweed. And they need their goat milk minerals. You got them. You got the minerals? Oh, I think they see the tree. They spotted it. They're like, ooh, some greens. Ready? Like, ooh, that smells good. Oh yeah. You got that taken care of in no time. Slow down, don't take off. Come on. Is that good? I couldn't imagine eating that, but hey. Supposedly loaded with vitamin C and a lot of other minerals. It smells good. She wants your seaweed. Want some seaweed? Seed weed goes in that one. one. Yep. Dump as much as it'll fit. If it all fits, yes. Don't touch it if you don't have to. Yep. Fill it all the way up. Fill it all the way up. The goats really eat all these minerals this time of the year when. They don't have access to. Are you pulling that out of there, Buttercup? Hey. You pulled the bag on her, she can't fill it up. Oh my goodness. Oh, you want the seaweed too that's left over in the bucket there, Blossom? You're crazy. Look at him, Libby's. Oh my goodness. She took off to the pine tree. Okay. Yep. Was that some good uh, seaweed? Oh. Yeah, I guess I so. I thought I kept dropping it, but I guess it was Buttercup. There was Buttercup pulling it from your hands. I saw her the last time, but I didn't see her the first time. Boy, it's sure nice to be able to re-gift our Christmas tree. We get to enjoy it in the house for a few weeks, and then the goats get to eat it. Olivia got a couple of gift certificates for Christmas. Since she's on school break, you wanna go cash them in? Is it gonna be fun? Yeah. yeah. You got your gift cards? Yeah. You don't wanna to go to Cheddar's, do you? Yes, I do. No. Yeah. Watch out. But no sticky stuff. Beach pebbles.
all the same color. That was a huge chocolate covered boulders. That was fun. Yeah. But chilly? Yeah. Do you think the goats ate a lot of the Christmas tree? Holy moly, I can see it from here. Yeah. They destroyed that thing. Mm -hmm. That's most of the bike off. Yeah. It's been <laughs> like four, four and a half hours, and look at that. It does look fake. With the wood on it just looks fake. You girls are crazy. Hey, hello. Look at that. Holy moly. They did an awesome job taking the bark off. You girls did an awesome job. Yeah. Yeah, like the wood on the inside is looks totally fake. That's crazy. I can't believe they can do that in such short time. You girls want some hay? What was that? Willow, earlier. Oh my gosh, look at Figaro. <laughs> Figaro, what are you doing up there? You keeping an eye on us? <laughs> or Pluto chase you up there? Oh my gosh. Oh my. You're gonna fall. You better not fall and hurt yourself. Okay. What were you saying about your zipper? Willow, when we were over there, Willow decided, hmm, she must have some treats in her pocket, and she pulled my zipper all the way down. She pulled your zipper down? Yeah. Were there any treats in there? No. I'm thinking we should make a casserole with leftover Christmas dinner. Sound good? Mm -hmm. Alright, so we got potatoes, which will be the last thing to put on. We got carrots, turkey, and on. like a fit in puzzle pieces, isn't it? Smells good. Yeah. I'd add more. Let's uh -huh. probably just use it all. Do you want to hold the potatoes or do you want me to hold them? I want you to You want me to hold them and you're going to put them in? Yeah. It's going to be perfect, nice and smooth. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that, you did such a nice job. Does it feel empty over there now? Yeah. The goats, you should see how good of a job the goats did in like three hours. Like they have half of the bark off the tree and yeah. half of the needles yeah. gone. Let's see how it came out. Looks good. Olivia well, we did a beautiful job spreading out the potatoes. Yeah, it looks like bread. She was so, she's like, she's like, it's like icing a cake. It really was. You did a good job. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All 
All right, we need to eat up so we can go on a little road trip after dinner. You don't want to go, do you? No, you don't. Definitely will. <coughs> That one is cute, isn't she? I like this one. That one's like a little teddy bear. No, this one doesn't like me. The difference between the girls and the boys. So the girls may. They're like, hmm. Oh, and here comes Snoopy. No, sorry. I was the first. <laughs> Girl boats than boat boats. So the two questions are, when you're looking at puppies, do you pick out the puppy or do you let the puppy pick you out? And then if you let the puppy pick you out, who gets to choose which puppy if a different puppy picks out a different person? Those are like the lifelong challenging questions when looking at puppy dogs. Man, dilemmas, dilemmas, dilemmas. <sighs> We're looking at some livestock dogs, and I think every kid needs their own dog. I think Olivia would really enjoy that. I think it would make a great addition to the homestead. Thanks, guys, for coming along on our journey with us. We really appreciate that you're here sharing it with us, and we'll see you guys right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.